One night, thieves were trying all the door handles of the cars parked on Caden's street. Unfortunately, one of his neighbor's vehicles was unlocked with the spare key sitting in the center console. In the process of stealing the truck, the thieves backed into Caden's car before hitting another neighbor's vehicle farther down the street. Eventually, both thieves were arrested by the police and charged with unauthorized use of a personal vehicle. Caden's insurance provider paid approximately $2,400 US dollars to repair his car while the stolen pickup was returned undamaged. Check out what happened in this video sent to us by Carlos. A pickup driver was making a wide left turn when the driver of a car tried to speed past him. According to Carlos, the insurance providers found the pickup driver at fault. Carlos offered his security cam footage to the drivers involved, but only the pickup driver wanted a copy of it. Daco sent us a clip of some kids walking on the other side of the street in front of his apartment building. Everything seemed fine until one of them found a rock and proceeded to throw it across the road and right through the window above the building's entrance. Daco heard the glass shatter from inside, but when he went to investigate, the kids were already long gone. After finding the rock inside the foyer and checking the security cam, police were called to the scene. Shards of glass had to be cleaned up around the site, and the property managers covered the hole with plastic and tape until their insurance provider pays for repairs. Daco also said, with a pitch like that, the kid who threw the rock should join either the Angels or the Dodgers. He told us they could use a throw like that, at 2 a.m. one morning, a Mustang driver came racing down the street in front of Henry's house and smashed into his mailbox. Somehow, the driver managed to miss his neighbor's mailbox. It cost 250 US dollars for Henry to install a new mailbox. Mitchie was working on a robotics project. His test of a single speed controller went fine, but watch what happened when he added a second one. The second speed controller burst into flames. The fire went out as soon as Mitchie pulled the plug, but that speed controller is toast. The incident left a black mark on the floor, which hasn't come up. Unfortunately, Mitchie doesn't have a garage to work in, so he's working with what he's got. He also sent us a clip of the robotics platform actually driving around. Cool. Keep us updated, Mitchie. Benson thought he heard someone walking around outside at about 2 a.m., so he opened his Ring app to see who it was. It turned out to be this week's cute cam feature, even if he was scarier than he was cute. Eventually, he walked off into the woods, and Benson told us he'll probably be back in a few days. He told us moose are common in that area, but it's fun to catch them on camera. He also wanted to remind anyone else in Alaska to check for moose before going outside. He's personally come within 10 feet of one before noticing it. Brad captured footage of a driver running their side view mirror into a couple of recycling bins and the side of an apartment building. Brad contacted the owner of the apartment and told them what had happened. Thankfully, there wasn't any significant damage to the building. According to Brad, the marks and dents are still there to this day. Nate sent us a video from a camera pointed at an intersection. A pickup driver was turning left when they got T-boned by an oncoming driver. It's hard to tell who's at fault here. What do you think? Emergency services were called to the scene and both vehicles were totaled. According to Nate, there was a lot of shouting going on, but the accident was cleared in under two hours. Here's a strange video from a different submitter named Nate. Some guy walked by carrying a step stool. He put it down under a street light and then walked away. After watching the video, Nate went outside to see what he was looking at, but he couldn't find anything. What do you think he was looking for? We have a theory, but it's coming up in our next submission. Alan sent us several videos from what he calls his critter cam, but this time it caught something else. See that beautiful ball of light? Yep, that's a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket lifting another 51 Starlink satellites into orbit. We're guessing that's what the guy was looking for in the last clip. 
Even though this isn't a shooting star, we're sure Alan wished on it that our viewers would send us more awesome clips to feature using the link in the description. Thanks, Alan!